It's the bank. It's the actual place where you can go and talk to someone face to face about your money. But there's also this over here, right? The bank with no actual location to talk to someone face to face. Everything is online. Now, there's no wrong answer with what you pick. In fact, you could have money in both of these and it might make the most sense. Each type of bank has its own positives and negatives, so it's important to figure out what's most important to you when you're looking for a bank. You might even find that it makes sense to bank at more than one place at a time. All right, so if in-person customer service is important to you, then a brick and mortar bank is probably where you wanna keep your money that you're using for paychecks and bills. Just because you've been with one bank though, doesn't mean you need to stay with them. It is actually worth shopping around to see what the fees and the terms are for each bank. And remember, it's your money. We're talking about fees, we're talking about terms. And speaking of your money, an online bank may be better for your savings account. Consumer Reports recommends getting online and looking at bankrate.com and NerdWallet. There are nearly a dozen banks paying 3% or better. So what did I did? I wanted to pull up NerdWallet's list of the seven best online savings accounts. So you've got SoFi and Discover getting five out of five stars from NerdWallet. They're paying 3.5% interest on your money. Most banks, brick and mortar, aren't giving you more than half of percent. Nerd Wallet really gives you the skinny as well. So you can click those green parts and then these come up right here. They tell you about each one and the fine print for each one of those. All the online banks require direct deposits for you to use their service. Now remember, changing banks requires some planning. You need to be sure to open the new account before you close the existing one. If you use direct deposit, be sure to change it to the new account, as well as any of those automatic bill payments you have. And lastly, transfer any remaining money and then close that old account.